Hello guys, this video will show you how to use a design technique, let's say called the overhang. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course, link is in the description. Let's continue. So you've learned how to use your program of choice, whether it's Max or Maya or Blender or ZBrush. Now, how do you design good looking things? Well, there's a number of you know techniques and philosophies, ideologies, workflows, but sometimes there's just small things you can do which instantly make a design look better. And so I like to call this the overhang. If you combine many of these various techniques together, you will start to get an idea of what looks good and what doesn't look good. So I like to call this technique the overhang. And, you know, not every time I use it is a winner, but many times it comes out looking very good and it really improves your design. So what is the overhang? Well, it's very simple. It's when you have a little bit of extrusion and you kind of move it here, maybe scale it, maybe rotate it, and you get this nice little detail right there. And so what I find is that whenever you use this, and I will say this as an example, whenever you use this, it makes your design look much better. However, in some situations, for example, right here, I don't think it looks that great there. So, you know, experience and caution is necessary. And uh, over here, could use some more work. Now over here, could use some more work. Not too horrible here, but could use some more work. All right, so how can we use this? Well, let me go ahead and just uh, make a copy of this. And uh, let's go from the beginning. Or actually, let's start with a plane because I collapsed that. All right, so we got this. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And now go ahead and just use... Go into freeform and then use the shift tool to quickly move things around. And so I'll just do my daily warm up here. But it's just it's just good to sometimes take a step back and realize, okay, what, what in this design looks good and what doesn't look good and, and why? All right, so let's say we got something like this. I'm going to symmetry that. And I'll just go ahead and uh, turbo smooth as well. We'll, we'll get some basic things going here. All right, so let's say we've got this. And then I'll go ahead and let's say uh, copy that. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the shell modifier. Alright, so we've got this detail here. And I'll go ahead and paste those modifiers back here. So we've got these details here. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of overhang. Alright, so you can of course just uh, select some bases here and extrude. And then we go ahead and scale. That's an example of an overhang right there. We can also do is first insert a loop through here and then as you can see I added it right here and then you overhang right over here so this is of course a very uh, basic example then i can select this for example and i can uh, extrude that and so what you can do is you can either scale this quick way you can also select these vertices and then use edge constraints and move them like so all right, so now we've got this nice little overhang happening right here. Quick little way to improve your designs and add visual interest in various areas. All right, here, for example, I'll go ahead and insert a loop. And then I'll go ahead and do a little bit of overhang right here. So you can either extrude or you can move. You can then use Make Planar right here, which just kind of average things out. Maybe do a little bit of rotating. Maybe do a little bit of scaling. Maybe do a little bit of make planar right here. Although it doesn't always give you the exact result you want. But as you can see, we now have a little overhang happening right here as well. You can also sharpen it up by using some support loops or creases. But I find that if you don't, if you don't have loops, uh, you actually get a very nice result right here. But maybe you can have a loop right here. Just to sharp, sharpen this up a bit. In some situations you want sharpness and others you don't. Alright, so that is an example of overhang. 
another thing you can do so here we've got two overhangs we've got kind of this overhang moving this way and then a little bit of overhang right there so um for this for example i'll go ahead and select this and i'll go ahead and bridge that and I'll kind of uh, fill in the gaps here and target well. Uh, if you get a weird result here, just go in here and just do a weld right there. All right. So we've got this. And now what I can do is kind of select this and further move it like so. And then maybe add a little bit of support loop action here. As you can see, just creates nice things happening here more opportunities for overhangs. You can also use hinge from edge. For example, select this edge, nice little overhang right here, for example. What you can also do is extrude that and then select this and either use set flow or edge constraints, or just go ahead and remove it completely. Hold down control, click on remove to do this, All right? A little bit of overhang right there. Let's support by using a support loop or crease. And now we've got this. So guys, overhangs are just a quick way to get nice little uh, quick details. You see, a lot of times they can accentuate your design uh, and add some nice things happening here. All right, so We've got that kind of movement. So a, a lot of times what you can do guys is you can kind of delete a part of the mesh and then move it. So let me go ahead and make, make another copy of this. And let me go ahead and go back a few levels before the, uh, before the shell. All right, so what you can also do, for example, is, um, you know, go in here and delete some of these things. You know, so here's another girl's opportunity for overhang. And then you can, of course, select that and uh, move it out. Or move it down here, for example. And that can create some very nice visual interest as well. Here, though, the shell is maybe too much. That's why I've got this uh, clipping happening here. So let me go ahead and decrease that. All right. A little bit of overhang right there, or I guess you call it an uh, underhang move it up there that tends to look better we can also go ahead and scale this and go ahead and move it as well so as you can see just a very quick nice easy way to add instant visual interest and so designing is about adding uh, points of interest guiding the viewer's eye around your design and the overhang is just another tool in your arsenal for guiding your viewer around your design Combine this with set flow to create nice transitions, areas of sharpness, areas of smoothness. Always keep in mind that. And as you can see, you get very nice designs happening that way. Before doing the extrusion or movement, you can go ahead and go into vertex level and just kind of uh, fix things up a little bit. All right. So 
sometimes what you can do is do a little bit of um do a little bit of tessellate to kind of uh, make things a little bit more angular it doesn't always work it works best in the initial phase of design this is a little bit too late for that You can also do some kind of more overhang like this. Uh, so, example, right here, for example. Uh, I can select some, some things here. Then kind of move that there. And then select some things here. Another cool example of overhang right there, which is similar to what I did uh, right here. You can see when you combine these details together, they just look very nice and they flow very well. Um, you know, this detail here, I probably don't like that one. I'll probably kind of redo this. I don't quite like how it looks. But uh, this detail here, I think, looks very nice. Well, obviously, as with any kind of technique or a little tool in your arsenal, if you if you use it too much, it'll start to look very, uh, you know, like you're doing just just the same thing over and over again. So you want to be careful, and you know, use various tools in your arsenal. You know, select some things. You know, regularize, make planar, rotate. So once you start to combine different tools together, guys, you will find that your designs kind of a uh, greatly increase in quality. So, because you have a lot of nice things happening together. Not just the, the same technique over and over again. But as with all techniques, guys, be sure to just... Sometimes when you're first starting something out, you want to go a little bit crazy with it, just to see how far you can go before it starts to get, you know, monotonous and boring. So maybe do an experiment and just see how far I can go before it kind of uh, wears out its welcome. Alright, thank you for watching and take care.